Hello and welcome everyone, I am Perhen Mode Slime. I hope you're having a very good raid day. Uh, this is just a little video, uh, mainly eight ti little tips and two opinions, because I needed ten to uh, make this little short video, maybe to help some people, maybe not. Timestamp is going to be there to skip the intro, but the intro is already over, so let's, let's get on with it. First of all, there's this misconception since the beginning that every boss respawn on a one hour cycle. That is not true. Legendaries and outdoor bosses like these three here, uh, Nightwing, Jet Dragon, Astagon, Blazamut, are on a 30 minute cycle. While the others, uh, like Bushi over here, Lunar is there, are on a one hour cycle. So in a sealed room is one hour, the rest is 30 minutes, including legendaries. The only time this changes is, from what I heard, if your day cycle is longer or shorter. If your day longer, if your day cycle is longer, then it's gonna be longer for the respawn to happen on these bosses. Other than that, if you didn't touch any, any of that, it's 30 minutes on all of these, okay? So that's number one. Two, if you're trying to level up faster and you're thinking, oh, I'm just going to kill legendaries, you're absolutely wrong. I did that mistake. Blazamut, Astagon, Anubis. No, that's Shuzaku. Anubis. Well, Suzaku as well. King Paka, Balinak, Danosam Lux. They all give either the same amount or more EXP per capture or kill than the legendaries. And they're a lot easier. It goes much faster. All right. That's what's number two. Number three is also a bit of a bug that I discovered yesterday. I'm sure I'm not the first one who discovered it. But let's just get on with it. Basically, what I said is to increase your DPS, you because the skill of your pal is not on the same cooldown when he's alone and when you're mounted on him. Right? Or her. I don't assume gender, let's pretend. So basically what you want to, what you can do is you throw him, right now he's on offense, so he's gonna start. That's how you fuck up a video, cause he's on fire instead of dragon. Let's see how this goes. So now he used all his skills, right? Fireball is the longest cooldown. It's like a minute. But if you use it after you're mounted, it can also reduce the cool. What I notice is it reduces the cooldown for some reason. It might not do it now. But as you can see, I, I've already dealt. See, that, that's more. That's not a minute. There is no way that's a minute. It's 55. That was faster than 55 seconds, wasn't it? That fireball came back so fast. And now, of course, he's just going to murder him. We're going to let the kill happen, because why not? Maybe for content, let's let's do some rockets in there. See, now, let's see if he does it again. The fireball. Fireball. I go up. Fireball. Now, is he going to fireball again? No. Oh well. Alright. So that's pretty much it for these quick three tips here. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, the next tip I forgot. It's just a little tip. I'm sure you've noticed. Or somebody must have said something about it already. Let's say you want a handgun, right? But you find a schematic. When you're level 28, you're 20 to 28, you find a handgun schematic in a dungeon. This is not unlocked yet. Well, don't bother spending the points to unlock it because you have a better version than it, right? Schematic 1, 2, th 1 is green, 2 is blue, th 3 is purple, and 4 is yellow. So you you don't have to spend tech uh, technology points on this because it's, it's useless. It's The damage is, is worse and everything. Unless you don't want to spend a lot of mats, materials on it, then yeah, you can unlock it. Even that, don't, don't bother, it's fine. 
Okay, the other tip. This is the memory wiping medicine to reset your stats. I know they've made an announcement that it's bugged. It wipes out your catch rate and everything. And uh, I used it before I learned about this. So I used this twice. I've used it twice already. Uh, I have noticed my Lift Monk statues thing reset, but I didn't notice anything on the capture rate. So either the capture rate is bugged or it just shows like it disappeared, but it's not. It's still there. So you use it or not, it's up to you. I used it twice and I've seen absolutely no difference between my capture rate before and after using it. But that's just me. Now the other tip is about mining. If you're like me, you like going to mine yourselves instead of going, if the, instead of like having an automated base for the most part. Uh, Dick Toys is garbage inside the base. He doesn't do anything. Hello you. But when you when go to the field with his skill, to me, he's by far the best. Like, you just destroy... You just destroy a whole, a whole node. Like it was nothing. So, that's food for thought. Now, first opinion. Lunarist is best girl. Fight me. An extra tip. And also, another opinion, is you can build a repair bench or a primitive workbench. In a new game, this can be useful for uh, pal spheres if you need any. But you can always build a repair bench as well. It's just pals won't work on it. I won't lie, I won't even know if it works. But you can do it. And the second opinion is, nothing is cuter than Lift Monk working. Look at it, look at that fix. Tell me that's not the cutest thing ever. You know what? Let's try it right now. Let's see if it works. Yeah, they deteriorate and stuff, and pals won't work in them, so you can't have a pal helping you build anything, but... Gives a crap at that point. I don't have the mats to repair anything, but... Seems to be working. And disassemble it. You're done, you can build it again later if you need it. The other thing I've noticed... Because uh, I play a pal less run, which is not the greatest idea in the world. But fire and poison will... Uh, the, effect, the status will be 100% on the first shot you give in any fights. So you start your fight with, fi with fire and poison, and you got two status effect on. And then from my observation is... It's not a percentage, it's more like there's a time frame in which you can poison your target again. Or... Or, uh, fire burn damn look at me finding words that you can burn your targets and the more times you let's say you burn your target the more the time frame between the two procs is bigger so let's say it's 30 seconds and it may be a minute maybe two minutes and I noticed this while fighting the second boss on my palace run and I was like while the fire is not procking anymore but it, it procced a lot before that. So I don't think it's a percentage. I think it's more of a time factor than a percent. It could be a percentage a bit. But I, I would have had to be very unlucky for it not to proc for a few minutes like that. So food for thought. If you have trouble with a boss or anything. Fire, poison. They stack together. So one fire. Then you switch. One poison. You do your fight, you wait maybe 30 seconds, 45 seconds, you try again. When one procs, the other will. That's usually how I do it. So, keep that in the mind. The last tip is pretty simple. Uh, you can watch all the guides you want, all the tips, build a, build a base this way. Oh, look, this guy here is telling you to poison and fire. You know, even this video, as far as I'm concerned. At the end of the day, nobody knows how to enjoy your game more than you. So, just... Do whatever the hell you want. You're going to make mistakes. And then you can watch, hey, how can I do this better? And a YouTuber, a content creator, someone will tell you. And that's the beauty of this game is you can always fix it. Nothing about this game is unfixable. 
except the unrational hate that some people have for it. O other than that, just enjoy the, enjoy yourselves. Play the game the way you want to play it. Make a mistake. You can fix it. So thank you for watching this. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.